Well, as anticipated, the 2023 edition of the Back to Your Village Food Bazaar brought together people from all walks of life and a wide range of delicacies, which are indigenous foods made right here in the country, from the northern through the middle belt to the southern part of the country. And this, we know, is as part of events to mark the Heritage Month of March. Well, um, to launch this particular event was the regional minister, Henry Corte, um, who said that he was pledging his support to, for or to this initiative. And he says that he's going to throw his weight behind this initiative all through the year and in subsequent years. Also, the, the managing director of CTFM and City TV, Samuel Atamensa, also explained the reason behind the Back to Your Village Food Bazaar. Indeed, I'm very excited seeing what I'm seeing. And uh, again, if I have to be a bit biased, that it's happening at the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. Well, uh, for making this day possible for us, because indeed, they say man proposes, but God disposes. The organizers, those who have the concepts, and indeed, for us to see what you are experiencing today. Um, this program, for me, must be encouraged so we can escalate it. By the grace of the Almighty God, and on behalf of the Regional Coordinating Council, I wish to declare that this bazaar is duly open. It is my hope and prayer and that this place will be filled, filled beyond human imagination. The whole effort is to make sure that the food that we grew up knowing is brought back to the shelves. Just understand that anytime you go to the supermarket, to the shops, every food item that you pick out puts a job on the table for somebody. Now you have to decide whether you want to put a job on the table for a Ghanaian or for a Malaysian or for a Taiwanese. So the more foreign foods you buy, the more jobs you create in other countries. We want to reverse the trend promoting our indigenous foods and that's why we are here. So the second day of the food bazaar also caught the attention of some prominent individuals in society and for them they say that this is one great initiative that should be commended. I think it's a it's a laudable one. It's something that we need to to celebrate city for the innovation. I mean some of the things you see here if you don't go to the village and how many times do we get the opportunity to go to the village? You don't, you don't get to see them. And many of these meals are getting out, you know, they're going out of stock. And I mean, for many people, their kids, they're afraid to even take their kids back to the village. So the kids actually don't go to the village. But at least we've been able to bring the kids through. They've asked questions about the meals. You've explained to them this is from the southern, from the northern. This is made with this, this is made with that. And um, the fact that you even have desserts that are local and local drinks that are healthier than the processed drinks. So it's a, it's a laudable initiative. I wish we could do this more than only in once a year, so that at least we give people the opportunity to come together, if it's twice a year or, or every quarter. It, it's, because you can see the patronage is high, so it's a good thing. I, I don't know the level of support City has from government on this, but I think that this should be something that the state must begin to take interest in. We're looking at, our, at, our, at the cost of importation of food Okay, you're looking at rice importation and all of that. I saw a local Ghanaian rice stand here. Okay, and so that's good. You're marketing it. But if we, if we build a taste for Ghanaian meals, and most of the material that is used, millets, maize, are grown locally, you're going to have a lot of import substitution. So then there'll be a ready market for people to invest in, in maize farms locally because you know that there's a huge Ghanaian demand for it. Yeah, I think that this is something you must repeat. You must do this not once in a year. It could be on a quarterly basis. I think that you need to consider that. I, I want to know, immediately you go here, what... what um, sense did you make of the whole place? Because some people say that it is taking them back memory. Well, 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 I've seen a few bazaars. I witnessed the pork bazaar at the trade fair somewhere in the very early uh, 1990s. And uh, I see that Ghanaians really 
love Ghanaian food. And Ghanaians will go anywhere there is a food bazaar like this. And in particular, if the, if the quality of food is good, Ghanaians would always patronize. And so perhaps it's a day to remember and uh, a day people would look forward to. It's been successful. I can say that I am amazed. I never expected it to be this big. It's huge and it's been, it's been good. I just was talking to one of the vendors. She said, look, she's even tired. She's made her money already and she wants to go home. But people are making, uh, still people are making requests on her. It's, it's good. My, 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 I'm particularly happy with the kids. The young ones who are here, introducing these young ones to our traditional dishes and things. It's, it's wonderful. I think we should do that more. Um, some of them are enjoying themselves. They don't have normally have time to go out and have this fun. Because they are holed up in their houses, uh, playing games and all those things. And this is good. If we can open them up to such cultural events and traditional events, it, it gives them a different type of education. Open them to who they are as Ghanaians. And now I think I will want to congratulate City for this wonderful initiative. I, I, it's, it's marvelous. So the second day was more like an upgrade of the very first day because patrons increased in number. Also, food vendors say that they sold out the various foods that they had brought and to sell for patrons who were available at the Back to Your Village Food Bazaar. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's a lot of food around, so I'm just going around tasting a lot of food. <laughs> yes, um, what do we eat? Uh, food? Uh, we have tilapia. Yeah, tilapia. And, uh, what is it, Banku? Banku. Banku, yes. Uh, yes. How was the food? Oh, it was real good. I ate the whole thing. <laughs> I, I think that it is, the, pro, the program is as um, advertised. There's, there are so many vendors compared to um, last year. I think there are many people around now. There are many vendors. So we've gone through. We've seen that. It's, it's been very, very fantastic. Yeah. I, I think it's fantastic. For me personally, I'm not too adventurous with food, so I go with what I know. But going around with my wife, we've seen that there are so many um, different foods. We've even seen some Dawa Dawa Jollof. We want to take home and go and try that. So I think that there are different rights of food for all the regions in Ghana and I think that this is a very very good initiative by city. Attendance for the two-day event was in excess of 30,000 patrons. The Back to Your Village Food Bazaar is one of the flagship events forming part of City TV and City FM's Heritage Month, which comes off every year in March. This year's Back to Your Village Food Bazaar was powered by City FM and City TV and proudly sponsored by Vortic Mineral Water, Malta Guinness, Africa Business Bureau, Fortune & Mopa, Pan-African Savings & Loans and Gino.